was not aware of this plan, but apparently my mom had planned to rent a car for a few days and go on a road trip across parts of Europe. This was my favorite part of the trip. I never got over how with just a three hour drive, you have entered an entirely different world, one with a completely different language, culture, and environment. One day, I hope to cover all the countries in Europe, so this was a step towards that goal. Here is our journey across just a few countries. We started off in Prague, Czech Republic. Our new ride for the next few days. We ate morning waffles, stopped by a bookstore, and hit the road, thus beginning our road trip. We have made it in the car rental. We are on our way to a new country. Where are we going? Slovakia. We stopped by the bookstore. Yeah, different sandwiches. We're at some rest stop right now. Thanks, Mom. We stopped by the lavender fields as recommended to us by locals from Prague, where we bought lavender coffees and roamed around the fields under the sun's intense glare. gonna be burned all the time because I never have sunblock and even when I do I still burn at this point it's fine thank you Czechia for an amazing an amazing time we are off to Austria Woo! I am dead the poor guy he's got a dog in the back oh what are they doing here? building a road I guess we drove through Slovakia and into the Austrian countryside where we were to spend the night. That looks like Carmel by the sea. My mom likes to book really fun and unique places to stay. So we are in the middle of nowhere, Austria. Wait, this is cute. confused. We just barged into someone's house but now we have found the reception over there doing well. There's people over there. We actually have no idea what we're doing. We're in this random place not exactly sure what's happening. Mom. <laughs> just like scavenging for food. <laughs> There's a number right here just call it. Doing everything but calling the number. She's going up to the people. This is how she acts. Okay, so we made it. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. That was the best experience ever. I love that woman. She the woman so who cute. checked us in only speaks German. So that was a really entertaining check-in process. She booked it for two and there's three. So this is a bit like Sasha sleeping. Oh no, Sasha. So did you feel this? Did you feel this? These bed sheets give me sensory issues. The one restaurant in town, people. We were really in the middle of nowhere, yet had the most amazing dining experience. Owned by chef Yanak, he made us the most exquisite meal, all made from scratch, from foods he grows in his garden. We had spicy seafood pasta, a fresh vegetable salad, smoked ribs, cheesy gnocchi, and then he gave us liquor on the house to end off the meal. We ended up staying and chatting with him for over an hour, where he gave us a tour of his lovely garden, where he grew all his food. I don't put it here. Comes. Oh. Three years. A oh, weed? weed? No weed. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his girlfriend was there too and was expecting twins the following week so we got a proper tour of all the baby equipment he had prepared for her that's so cute it was so cute how excited he was for his baby twins this is my favorite part of traveling talking and learning from locals buying fresh house-made cuisines i highly recommend stopping by here if you want to experience an amazing meal with lovely staff the next morning we enjoyed a nice morning in the austrian countryside eating breakfast with the chatter of german around us 
My mom and I also went for a run through the many sunflower fields that I don't want that area. We then drove to Slovakia where we met up with our friend Dina. Hi! Cool. Nice We're to reunited. Meet you. Hello. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Hi guys. Pulls up in this. I was like, is he running? No, scooter. Bye. Bye. We're in the middle of nowhere Slovakia. This is fine. I don't know what's happening, but okay. Так, мы едем сегодня гулять в Братиславе. Запак на кошек смотреть. Как бы девочки готовы? Я да. тоже готов. Ты можешь включить? Что, я не включил? Я не сняв включил, да. мама включила уже. Нет, еще. Я понял, хорошо. О, фэ -фэ. Пока. Все, Дима. Все, Дима. We're at the zoo. Don't ask why. Dima's in his element. The group went for a hot yoga class while I chose to sit in a cafe and read. They just went to hot yoga. Oh, yeah. This person doesn't stop talking ever. We then met up and walked around Bratislava, Slovakia's capital, and ate sushi and gelato along the way. is showing us around the area. Beautiful right now. Back on the road we are. I'm driving through Slovakia. We have stopped by some fruit stand. My mom wanted to buy some fruit. Drop Zima off. He's back where he was and we are off to Vienna, Austria. We were fueled at this cafe where we got this veggie bowl that actually restored life. We then walked around Vienna. Not gonna lie, all of our traveling is hitting me now and I'm very tired. Oh. Fine, gotta push through only in Vienna once. to be very official and business-like. Things were very luxurious, with big buildings and wide boulevards, almost a bit Soviet. We stopped by a rest stop on the side of the road, which was unique because they sold beer there. Alcohol and driving, not the best combo, but they do it differently, I guess. It was very authentic there with a Czech meal of sausage, rye bread, pickles, and dips. 
We have been sitting in the car basically the entire day today. We have made it to our hotel, which is right by the airport. So tomorrow we're gonna get up and go to Amsterdam. We ended our time in Czechia with a gorgeous sunset, a beautiful close to such a beautiful country.